Hello, welcome to another deck. This is Radea's Ambush. It is a Deadeye Ambush Scoitel list that runs Radea. Now, Radea has a great synergy with Feign Death, of course, because we can spawn these Scoitel Neophytes and proc Feign Death immediately. The problem with these tall scenarios is that at 14 provisions, I'll drop that down, it'll spawn a um, Vernasiel's Commando, but that's probably going to be the recipient of a Heat Wave. Now, with this Radea immediately proc and Feign Death, um, we're less likely to get a Heat Wave because with a single proc left, Feign Death only has six points of value left in optimal conditions. So that's the idea there. With Radea though, we must run Singletons. Now I've mulled around with the Singleton list a little bit and I've kind of landed on this. This is a kind of a little bit of a mid-rangey removal package running some of these five provision removals. Thunder, Northern Wind and Rebuke, as well as Dim Dimeridian Bomb and the Making a Bomb, which is pretty good for the movement package still or the movement ability. <clears throat> but the Northern Wind seems to get quite a bit of value. It's great with the Ceres Lippy deck, which we see a little bit less nowadays, but it's also good with the Maddock. Or if we're facing some Ursine Warriors, we can get rid of one of the get rid of one of the um, the Warriors first round, so and try to try our best to brick the Herald. Anyways, I've stuck with Scorch. Now Scorch is great. Um, I kind of left it. I've, I was getting quite a few great Scorches, and I became very comfortable with it, so. I stuck with it, but um, this deck has some room for modifications. Mata, just to kind of alleviate some of the clogging that's happening. Happening, Matting, Mata, sorry, will grab Feign Death and a Neuromancy also for some thinning and accuracy. And we do have Aetherin in hand, which is our only brick. Because we're running Singletons, we do not have a whole lot of actual thinning, so it's important to if we get a gold card in the first round, to hold on to it, because we may not get it again, but uh, it's a pretty consistent deck. Anyways, then of course, if we get into a third round situation with Feign Death, Vernasiel, Gaten, Yavin, Aileran still there, I mean, it's almost impossible to beat. But if we're facing a second round bleed, it's very great to drop Rodea Feign Death and use these two cards to get a quite a few points and then rely in the third round simply on with Vernasiel or alternatively using Vernasiel first round just to deny losing on even but there's a lot of ways to run this but I've really enjoyed this deck and I hope you do as well. Okay Carapace <clears throat> you and I get to go first which is tricky so he's probably gonna bully me here. It's nice to actually have Scorch in hand um, I would like to get rid of Aileron. Um, this will draw my own Neermancy. We'll first dump Aileron. We'll next dump the Saboteur. Um, the movement will be nice, actually, for Nithril and Kelly, so I'll hold on to that. And Sappers, so let's kick this. This is a decent proactive play. It's, as is this. Let's get rid of the commando. Good. Got both my movements. <clears throat> we'll just start off, I think, with um, the Marauder. see if he has Siri dash in hand. I don't want to... Well, I could Scorch dash if I had to. Okay, let's just move this to deny that. And hopefully he just plays a um, Siri dash. Yeah, that will that will inevitably get to six, or into eight. I think what I could do here is <laughs> do not make me beg. Grab feign death. Hmm. I was thinking I was going to get my Neermancy. 
Interesting. Well, I'm going to have a decent uh, Scorch here, regardless. Hopefully he plays Siri. Um, it's tricky because I I don't want to miss this. I mean, this is a 16-point Scorch, which is nice. If I could line that up with Siri as well, that'd be even nicer. Tricky. I don't want to. You I mean you hate to play Scorch and then lose the round? Another little thunderbolt. I'm going to hold on to this one. It could be good if he's playing a Kelly. He still needs a few points. We'll leave it at that. Against my better judgment. <clears throat> okay, we could see a pretty aggressive bleed. Now, I could have played on, but I needed to hold this. I would like to have held the thunder. That's good. Probably shouldn't have dug Frailer in there. I should have waited. That was being greedy. But I was trying to grab the Oniromancy. I mean, Vernaciel is great to have as well. But I um, guess I just missed it. That's fine. That's a pretty powerful play. Um, let's just debomb that. I can still get ahead with um, Redea next turn if my opponent passes, which I don't expect him to do. I actually can deal with this <clears throat> if he doesn't boost it up any higher. 
three turns. If I play this next, and I'm gonna have to commit some leader here. As is, I could deal with Siri next turn. I'm about to commit one leader charge. Excellent. Okay, so I do have six points in leader. My opponent, I think, has three points left. Purify, and then move, which is nice. That's actually nice too. Let's get rid of our Aileron. A decent proactive play. Now, what else do I have in my deck here? It would be nice to get my Vernacio if I could grab that. Let's. Um, This won't get much value. Okay, now that's a mega miss. I missed. <laughs> well, at least I can get Aileron out, but I'm, I'm missing Vernacio, which is a 12 point play. 11. I'm... We'll start off with this. A wee hint. But my opponent is still going to be holding a heat wave. And Kelly. That'll be Defender. <clears throat> Boy, And this damage is going to probably negate a lot of the pyrotech. But uh, I think if I had Vernalcio in this situation, uh, <clears throat> well, six, if I can <clears throat> hit this, ideally, let's see if we can hit some luck here. That's good. Going to have to play my saboteur next. Well, we'll play this. Hopefully, he uses the. Gonna get some charge as well. Yeah, this is unfavorable. With my Vernacio, I would have had this. I did forget about Aileron, which is excellent. Uh, because of Aileron, I probably actually should have... Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I'll pass there. Good game. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, another lockdown. You crossed the wrong sorceress. <clears throat> See if I can draw some cards to begin with. If it's a clogger's deck. Maddock, I'll hold that one. Good. Good. Okay, so I got some good cards here. But there goes my Neuromancy. Unfortunately. Falling is a necessary step toward picking yourself up. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely frustrating. But uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of some of these cards here. Now in this case I'm gonna have to draw my scorch naturally. I could get scorch via Mata. Swap that out, that's fine. Only two targets. Pity I brewed enough toxic for twenty. Okay. Uh, let's continue discarding. Let's um, we'll get rid of our marauder. Well, Let's get rid of our Marauder here. I like to improvise. Twenty five points. I want to have. Let's play something here. Let's. Not sure if it's a Madoc yet, so let's get rid of just um, this. <clears throat> I think a key condition here is definitely drawing the um, Scorch naturally. Okay, so what I could do is I could use Dragoon with this. This can be 12, 11, sorry, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, it's gonna have to be my play. Still nine points. I'm gonna have to play Eisengrin here. Okay, I did thin my deck from Aileron, so there is a better likelihood of actually drawing the right cards. Okay, how many do I have here? <clears throat> okay, I do have Yaven, which is great. I do have Feign Death, which is wonderful. Rodea, which is great, but I'm still missing Scorch, which is going to be the, comp the key component here. And he's got my Neuromancy, which is a real pain.
12 cards. I'm going to see five of them. So I got a 50-50 on grabbing this. We'll see how it goes. You're to use my decoctions to your advantage. Okay, well, that's good. So I can I could have banished that one, but um Okay, so it's a Clogger's Matic deck. <clears throat> You'll be able to put this on top for twelve every time. Come on. Excellent. Excellent. Now if I can naturally draw my Scorch, we'd really be doing well here. So, beautiful. So I guess if he does put Vernacio on top, I can grab Vernacio. I do have gate 10 there as well, which would be nice. Don't yell, my lady. He'll strain your throat. Help is not Let's not way. give him anything to target, really. But, um... Well, that's a five point, so I'm going to use this on one of the Maddox. Has he played any bombs yet, really? He's got this one, which he drew from me. So, we know that my opponent's going to have a lot of bombs in hand. Maybe not even a Colgrim. What's better than a dead noble? Two dead nobles. Hmm. We don't want to give him anything to interact with. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to discard a bit here. He's gonna have some of the the tactics, and he's gonna have some bombs. He could play Berengar. No, oh no, no, no. You can't just sacrifice it. Okay, well, we know Scorch isn't going to Scorch our Redea at the moment. Although my Pyrotechnician could hit the Berengar, but I'm sure my opponent's going to play some taller units. Out of the way, rabble! Okay, so we can thin out with that. What is truth if not an illusion? Hopefully it's not a seven, which is my tallest card. Focus on it. Five. Quiet the noise in your head. Let's hope we hit this actually. That's good. It 
So I'm relying maybe on him putting... I mean, this is good, but Vernaciol would be better. So if he puts Vernaciol on top, I could grab it. But let's, um... Continue playing slow, I guess. Okay, so we'll banish this one. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. The mysteries of this world, boundless they are. few points back. <clears throat> Let's see, how many of these he's played? Hmm. Good, he's got the Vernaciol. So I'm going to grab that Vernaciol with Mata. And I will be able to kill this mentor. Your blade is just an extension of your will. This dance, you will never forget. Now, there's argument maybe I should have left, let him play that again. So I would have been able to take out both of them. Strike fast. Leave it no chance to get. Okay, we'll feign death here with leader. Await the signal. Until then, don't budge. Time to die. I'll do so sword in hand. So he probably held on to his heat wave and now he's thinking should I or should I not play heat wave? He does. So this is playing for 12, and this is playing for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Coexistence. No such thing. So he needs to have something taller than 12 points. <clears throat> she's going to have another bomb. Yeah, so that's not going to do it. Good game. I find that deck really frustrating to play against, but I'd uh, love to beat it. Okay, hidden cash. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Hmm. Okay, we'll get rid of Ailer in here. That's nice to have in hand. I'm going first, so I need to have some strength. Saboteur is not going to do it. Nice to have Radea. I'll start with this. Go with this. Let's get rid of our commando here. Pretty good draw to begin with.
Nice card back. It's gonna play for four anyways. Let's um get our marauder out, I guess. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Um if he poisons this and draws out boat, I don't want to hit boat with my pyrotech, so let's hit this. Then we'll hang on to that. Okay, he's doing quite a bit of thinning here, getting some points out too. That's going to cost him a coin. So get my Fane Death. I think just to stay ahead, I'm probably going to play Vernaciel here. It's been a long, hard nice. Okay, so I think that's a decent pass. We got his Passiflora out. Now we could be running some poison package, which, um, yeah, it's a possibility. That could be decent against a defender, but, um, Purify a poisoned unit, which might be great as well. An Aileron. Wonderful. <clears throat> Let's see if we face a bleed here. Short on dried meat. Hell, remove his cowl, then his ears. Yeah, let's just remove that, I think, with a nature's buke. An interest or puke. There it is. Okay, so I can't really do much about that, unfortunately. Sleep, my champion. Rest now. It's going to go pretty tall. <clears throat> Um, I could wait and use the Scorch on it. That's not ideal. Well, that's going to go higher than 10 or 8 for sure. Let's just use this Elf for the time being. Is there any way to? Oh, looks like some light reading. Two of them's gonna be a problem. I should have waited and let them line up on top of each other here. Oops. Well, let's just use our Redea. Yeah, this is a this is a nightmare. Blue mountains. 
<clears throat> I guess he's not running boat. Redanian, or Redanian, uh, what's it called? Maybe he is. Got it in Any hand. Okay. If I move all these, we're going to have an issue here, so. I'll be able to remove one of them in a second. Let's hit. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a bad play anyways. Coexistence. No such thing. So with such a point advantage, and if I run the uh, Scorch here, my opponent's probably going to pass, I would say. <clears throat> Good. So I've still got this left over. I have Isengrim, and I do have my Vernacio, which is going to be str strong as well. <clears throat> Beautiful. Good. So what I should do probably... Let's, uh, that's my proactive play right there. Let's get rid of Aileron. Okay, I guess we're gonna start off with Bowman here. Or sorry, Saboteur. Neuromancy. What's the Neuromancy going to run for here? We'll see. Yeah, let's just move that. Or I could just destroy it, which is good as well. No, I can't destroy it. So let's... Um... some tall units. It's nice if we could try to line them up. I mean, that's going to be a good one there. So we'll always be able to get that. In the meantime, there's no reason not to play this. So he could be playing, what's his name? The Savola. Savola, this is going up three a turn, so it will never hit 13. Unless I play some of... Well, if he's going with the poison package... 
Let's try this route. So no. We shall drive the ape men into the sea. Thirteen, two turns, and it'll hit thirteen, so that's good. Perfect. Oh, I love this job. Although now it's only going up oh, eleven, sorry, it's only eleven. Yeah, we'll wait for that, that's great. Let's um No mercy. Okay. <clears throat> now we could potentially play something that also boosts to eleven. Oh, be ashamed to let this multi port away. Okay, that's a good scorch. I'll play a front row Vernacio, which is going to play for 11. <clears throat> so I think we did win this game, but um, it's a good play. Oh, lost his connection. Good game. <clears throat> that was actually a great lineup with the Scorch. Love when that works out. Good game. 